fried green tomatoes. The little miracles of Manatech, Suntech Tomatoes, a beautiful little tomato farm about 40 minutes south of here, in the heart of the great Carlton Riding, where uh, some entrepreneurial farmers opened a greenhouse to sell beautiful local produce to residents in the area. They're delicious. They are delicious and they are legendary right across the region. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the farmers learned that the carbon tax the government applied would go on the CO2 that they release into the greenhouse. Now, of course, that CO2 is required to expand the growth and increase, increase uh, the produce that comes out of the greenhouse. This CO2 does not actually even go into the atmosphere. It goes into the plant life, uh, something that the Liberals may have missed in grade four science class. Um, but the reality is that it makes the tomatoes more expensive. So what is the consequence of the tax on these tomatoes? Well, it is at times more expensive to buy a Manatec tomato in Manatec than a Mexican tomato in Manatec. Why? Because the taxes are lower in Mexico, even though the pollution is higher. The what does this price signal do? It tells the customer to buy a tomato from the other side of North America, which has to be trained and trucked all the way up to Canada, burning fossil fuels the whole way there and increasing emissions along the way. What happened to the local 100-mile diet that environmentalists used to promote? Well, this tax makes that diet more difficult and less affordable. Thus, the big logical fallacy of the Liberal carbon tax. It drives up the cost of domestic production and drives that production to foreign, more polluting jurisdictions that then require higher transportation costs and more emissions to bring them back to Canadian consumers here at home. Our approach should be exactly the opposite. We should bring production home, our food, our energy, our resources, right here in Canada. change. The Honourable Members of the Opposition have no plan, never did, never will. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. That's misinformation from the member opposite. Why